Hi everyone. I know that on Fridays I tend to post a series that is called Politically Checked, where I check on cartoons uh, and the political campaigns that happen in those cartoons, and then we go on a jolly way checking out how those uh, lessons that we learn as kids are relevant now for um, for those of us who are socially engaged or politically engaged. If you don't know me, my name is Luis. Um, I am a political consultant. I work for a political party in Hungary. I work for some organizations in the European level and in the global level on empowering uh, minorities, uh, women, uh, LGBT people, and I also work with some other uh, political European parties. The reason why I am not posting a politically checked video is because this week a lot has been happening in Hungary. Uh, if you don't know what has been happening in Hungary relating to uh, regarding the situation with the LGBT community, I'm going to leave some links on the description and you can get some information. Now, uh, in the context of the Euro Cup, I have seen a lot of narratives that have been up against Hungary. And I want to make something very clear. Let me make myself very clear. I am a proud Hungarian man. Buske Magyar Ember I am a proud gay man in Hungary. Buske meleg ember vagyok Magyarországon. And I am a proud European. Buske európai vagyok is. And this is very important to say because identities do not collide. Let me make it clear in a different way and separating these elements of my identity. I have seen a lot of people saying that Hungary is a homophobe country and we cannot fall into that narrative. Hungary is not Viktor Orban. Hungary is not Fidesz. And this is very important because I have all the right, like it or not, as a Hungarian man, as a Hungarian gay man, to be proud of my country. I celebrate the victories of our football team. I celebrate every time the Hungarian person creates something as a special, for example, as helping on the development of the vaccine against COVID-19. I am very proud of every achievement that we have as a nation. And having an LGBT identity doesn't have to do anything with it. And then actually, I fight every day with many people on the street, campaigning, campaigning every day to actually change this regime. And then that doesn't make me less Hungarian. That doesn't make me homophobe. I am Hungarian and I'm gay, and that is very important to remark. I'm European above all. I appreciate so much the gestures of support that many politicians have actually given across Europe and having given a message towards Orban to say, enough is enough. You went too far. It is great. But very important it is also to distinguish that we cannot be actually calling for Hungary to leave the European Union. Viktor Orban is not Hungary, and let me repeat that. And Europe has to fight, and the Commission, uh, the European Commission, has to be very strong against Orban and his government. We are not alone on this, and we need the support. And the support from Europe is actually not to call us to be out of this union of values that we fight for so much. Lastly, I'm a very proud gay man, but I have a message actually for the LGBT community. Hello sir, you're not alone. But LGBT community has been many times pushed on the lines to go and then to do activism, just liking content or just to do reaction something on social media. It's not enough. This is our fight as well. If you have not joined the front line, join now. We need to be on the front line. And yes, I work in politics. I'm not asking you if that's not of your sympathy to your political party, but write a letter to your representatives. Demand to them that you are expecting from them to defend your rights. Many people are doing it already, but then be on their side. Support candidates that are openly are defending the rights of the LGBT community in Hungary. Volunteer for a civil organization that is fighting for LGBT rights. Going to Pride and liking content is not enough. Now, I will finish this video just by saying the same thing. Supporting is not calling 
for more isolation for had to happen here in Hungary. When we hear singers that are saying, I'm not going to perform in Hungary anymore, even if they're from the LGBT community until the urban regime um, lives, that doesn't help. How does that help if you don't come here to Hungary to perform? You're abandoning the LGBT community here. You're making us feel more alone. Congratulations. That's not support. Calling for us to leave the European Union is not support. We need to stay in the union. We need to continue fighting and we need the support. And from us, we need to continue the fight. And then we need to understand that in 2022, we have elections and we all need to engage and we need to change the regime. I will say that one last time, Hungary is not Viktor Orban and then it is nothing wrong to identify yourself as a proud gay person, as an ally of the LGBT community, and as a proud Hungarian.